What's up you guys, Sambo here. Welcome back to semi Vostok. Today we're actually going to be using this empty space over here to actually put in a brand new main hospital facility. So throughout the whole city, we, we actually only have little clinics and like I'm wondering how all of those clinics are, you know, able to facilitate this whole city. So we need to have some kind of main big hospital area and that's what I want to do today and hopefully it fits in with the whole area. So let's get into it. Okay, so I should just mention quickly before we get into it, um, all of the the building assets and some of the other assets that I use in this build, I will actually go through specifically what they are probably in like the last minute of the video. So if you want to check out what all, the, all of the buildings are. So just thought I would let you guys know about that. So I actually wanted to make sure that there is a main road nearby and this main road actually goes directly to the, the highway over there as well. So it's a really great location and we are right near the train station and there's already a bus line right there. So there is going to be, I think, three different entry points into this area and I'll kind of explain what each one is for. And like I said, the buildings that I use, I will go through all of those at the end. So if you miss it, um, that's all right. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. So we have this entrance over here, which connects up to the market area. So this one is going to be mainly for like staff parking and just some other staff area, you know, for the ambulance and things like that. And then we have this one over here. So this one is just an a just a random entry point for you know, ordinary people or ambulances or whatever. And then we have this one over here. This one is actually going to be a reddish color. So the road will be a red brick and that'll actually be for like the emergency area, the drop off area. And that's why I wanted to do roundabouts just because they keep the traffic going and you know, you know everything about roundabouts already. And plus I just like to use them because they look more interesting as well. So there's going, it's going to be a pretty big complex actually, and I'm still going to use one large, we're well, still going to have one large um, open bit of green space for them, but you guys will see more of that in the next few minutes. Now, we can't just have these really huge buildings, so we actually need to kind of break it up with some large ones, smaller ones, you know, thin ones, fat ones, you know, I want a really good mixture. But since we do have a, a road going through this, I'm actually going to use elevated pathways. So these ones, um, they actually do function, so they will actually use them. Um, I don't think they actually will though, because they can just walk across the road, but um, realistically, you know, these big facilities, you probably would have some, some type of big walkway from building to building across the roads just because it's really really handy i also wanted to use this one for the same reason because it has that walkway going through and i thought it just looks cool so this is that that's just for like the emergency area i wanted to use a couple of different sea walls as well because it is a little bit hilly the surrounding areas so i think the sea walls do help define the area as well as the main roads as well. So I didn't want it to kind of be undefined if you know what I mean. And um, this this building here, I didn't like that there was parking lots on it. So I actually tried to hide those with these other smaller, longer buildings as well. And that, actually it fits in pretty well. Okay, so I'm also going to be continuing on with those buildings throughout this whole area just because they're not too big and you can just put, I can just put them in anywhere. Um, I'll go through what those are at the end of the video. I like it. It looks, it looks good. It looks realistic in my opinion. I mean, I don't know if it's Russian, but I mean, well, technically those buildings are from Thailand according to um, the, the workshop as well. So over here, this is where the staff parking is going to be. So I actually upgrade this to the, just the parking lots on either side. I didn't want to make it too, too huge just because it would look kind of out of place. Um, and then something that I don't show in the speed build, there's also a big parking complex on the other side, um, but you will see that towards the end of the video. And all of these little <laughs> vehicles that I put in, they actually disappear for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I also put in a gate, but, but for some reason that one disappears as well. So <laughs> I don't know, but I wanted it to seem like this was specifically for the staff only. Um, like you had to get in through a remote or something like that. I don't know, but they all disappear, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 
And then, so this is going to be another seawall here just to help define the, the area where it's all going to be. And I actually like how it looks with the seawall because it kind of makes it in its own little bubble, if you know what I mean. So everything is a little bit lower down. Um, and then it's not like ordinary people can just easily wander on. They have to actually walk down the walkways or down the roads or things like that. Okay, so next let's have a look at the main little, um, the park area. So I do want to leave it mostly open because there are a lot of larger buildings in this area. So um, we need to have a lot of space just to cater for the, you know, all of the buildings and stuff like that. I didn't like that there was parking lots there, so I decided to cover those. And I actually end up putting in a elevated pathway, but it, it had to be quite long there because you know, I just think like it's a hospital, so there's going to be people in wheelchairs and electric little chairs and things like that. And um, the reason why I wanted to put in the elevated pathway right there is, first of all, you know, it's it's good to just have more connections in general for pedestrians, but also because the bus stop is right there. And if they just walk one block, that's where the train station is. So unfortunately, I couldn't really put it any closer to the train station unless I wanted to do demolish something. But yeah, I didn't really want to go demolish stuff that I've already built. So, I mean, it's only one block. It's not too far, hopefully. I mean, if you're sick, that's pretty far. Um, yeah, but I mean, at least I have the bus line. The bus line goes by the train station, so it shouldn't be too far. But from what I've seen at the end of the video, a lot of them are more than happy to walk. And I actually like how how this um, turns out. It's kind of wonky, the pathway, but I think uh, that's good. I like it. It gives it a bit of character. And then just to finish up here, we're going to do some more of these really large pathways. I believe those are supposed to be eight meters wide. And then I also just put in a few little cafe seating areas, which actually makes it look really cool. And then a few other little planters there just to bring a little, little bit more color as well. And um, if we go over to here, just some more little cafe seating areas and a few gazebos, tables, chairs, things like that, you know, just the ordinary stuff. And the reason why I put in all of the little seating areas is because I imagine there would be like cafes and maybe little restaurants, I don't know, cafeterias throughout all of these areas because that is pretty common. And um, yeah, it's good to have little seating areas outside and a little bit of grass here and there. And there we have it, you guys. Um, not too busy at the moment. I think um, it might be too early or the peak hour has already passed. I can't remember. Nonetheless, there's always a lot of people at that bus stop right there because the markets, I think there must be night markets or something that are always going on. But yeah, it looks really cool. It actually fits in with a lot of the surrounding areas just because of the color and the architecture. And since we are kind of you know, we're on the outskirts of the city, even though we are near the downtown. I didn't want to make the buildings too large, though. So yeah, it does look really good. I like it. So I wanted to make sure that I keep this green space between the highway and all of the hospital facilities. So there's also the main road with the boulevard as well, which I think looks really good. One thing I didn't show you guys is I actually updated this road here to have parking. Just because since this area isn't actually too busy, I wanted to put parking just to kind of make it look a little bit more alive because when you see more cars it looks more lively and more interesting and you can see right there that is the emergency area entrance right there but we'll come back to that in a second um, we have all of these seating areas outside it actually looks really good it's just a bit of a ghost town at the moment so I actually had to go down and place some of the ambulances myself just because we really don't have that many sick people at all which is kind of strange I guess all of the clinics kind of took care of that for us but I mean I kind of wish it was more lively which is a little bit weird but yeah it looks good some people around there we got the walkways up the top which is really great it actually suits it really well to have these um, these pathways right here even when we're like down here amongst it all if we look up 
it looks like we're in like a downtown or something just because these buildings are so high. Ugh, I love it. And then if we go over here, this is just the parking lot, the staff parking. Like I said, some of the, the props, the vehicles, the ambulances, they all disappeared for some reason, which is really annoying. And um, yeah, look at that. I, I, just, I just think it looks really, really cozy having the seawall there. It's kind of like their own little bubble just because all of the people up in the market area, they probably won't wander down here into the park area so the park area would really just be for the people who you know work or they're in the hospital and they wouldn't really be bothered by you know just ordinary people who are wandering by and wanting to stop in the park so I mean they can still come down to the park the ordinary people but I just don't think they would because it's kind of a little bit out of the way for them if you know what I mean Alright, so I'll just quickly show you guys some of the assets that I've used, some, some of the medical buildings, the parking lots, and then the elevated pathway. So the first one is this one, the Prentice Women's Hospital. Um, yeah, you can just find all of these on the workshop really easy, just type in the name. Also we have the Patient Building, or BLDG, I use that one a lot. Um, the Coast Guard Headquarters, which is actually still a hospital, it just has a funny name. So all of these are hospitals. Uh, we have the the Thai General Hospital and the University Hospital, the old parking garage, and then the elevated pathway is called, well, if you, if you can type Chinese, there it is, but it's just pedestrian bridge, so really, really simple. And there we have it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually think it looks really, really well. Um, looks really good and it really suits the area in my opinion fits in really well So thank you guys for watching and also if you have any suggestions for the big empty spot of grass to the right of it Let me know if there's any good suggestions. Otherwise, I'll just fill it in with some more houses But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all next time